Welcome back to Density Part 2. I'm going to place some food items in these three cups and I want you to observe what happens. Firstly I have a grape. Secondly I have a blueberry. And thirdly I have an egg. Okay, as you can see they've all dropped to the bottom. Now I'm going to introduce a fourth cup and I want you to observe what happens when I add the same foodstuffs into this cup. There goes the grape, here's a blueberry Okay, now I'm going to fish these out. And now I'm going to add an egg. Watch what happens. Okay, as you can see, the egg is floating. However, in these three, the grape has sunk to the bottom, the blueberry has sunk to the bottom and the egg has sunk to the bottom. Now I want you to pause the video and have a think about what I may have added to this cup here. Alright, how did you go? What I've done, I've actually added about half a cup of sugar to this particular cup here. I've stirred and stirred to make sure that it's all dissolved and eventually I was able to come up with a solution that was dense enough for all of these objects to float in it. If you're unsuccessful at first, keep going, keep adding the sugar and keep stirring and eventually it will become dense enough. I could have also added some salt to the water that would have had the same effect. Essentially, a solution of sugar and water will be denser than just plain water and remember that water itself is a compound and a solution of sugar and water is a mixture. I hope you've enjoyed this video please do experiment at home with all different types of foods and see how you go. Don't forget to try the salt as well it's just as effective. 